Hello, happy Saturday. My name is Ayla. This is Dying Light 2. Gotta get back to Sophie. Um, what is this? What is this? A winch? F. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Can I get back up there from here? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay. First time I see that. Very cool. Whoa. That sounded like a dog growl. Okay. I'm running. Um, not too far from the bazaar. Stay off the roads. So we got a bunch of crystals. Um, I don't know if we're supposed to like sell those or if they are used to trade for something else. I, like, I'm not sure what they're used for. There it is. Hopefully we'll find out soon. Can I go in through here? No. Oh, you're running. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Alright, so that's not the entrance. This place is pretty big. Don't chase me. I don't want any. Whatever you're selling. Is that a human? Hello. What are you doing? They're not attacking you. Didn't get much from them, but that's okay. I have fun bashing their heads in. Okay, Sophie is... This way. Oh. Pretty sure I can get there from here. Yeah. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie! What? Carl, you wanted to talk to me? You know, Pilgrim, I'm not a very godly man, but it was not always so. Do you know the biblical story of Daniel and the lions? Uh, not really. No, I don't. Why don't you tell me? So, Daniel was a godly man, prayed three times a day, never skipped a prayer, even when his king forbade his subjects to pray to anyone other than himself. Daniel didn't change his ways, so he was sentenced to be thrown into a lion's den. And you don't get out of a lion's den in one piece. Yet, after a whole night, the accusers looked into the den and saw that Daniel was alive and well. Not because he killed all the lions, not because he escaped, no. His god sent an angel to close the lion's jaws. So Daniel was saved. Having witnessed the true power of Daniel's god, the king ordered that the accusers be thrown into the den and their wives and children. This is this a metaphor? The PK are the lions, right? Yes. But the big question is, what does God stand for here? I'd say justice. I'd say so too. But why are you telling me this? Because I know that Sophie, my right hand, is currently plotting against the PK. She wants to kill the lions. Hmm. And how do you know that? Because I was granted the gift of observation, and because I know her, and because she's not very secretive about it. The truth is, I'm worried about her. She's of good heart, but she's hot-tempered and won't listen to me anymore. But maybe she'll listen to you. And what do you want me to say to her? Don't provoke the lions. Justice will come to us eventually. If, however, 
She leads us into the lion's den. There will be no angel to help us. We will all die. Us, our loved ones, everyone. The PK will devour us. Now, I get that you're afraid, but Sophie's her own person. She'll do what she thinks is right. That's probably true. I can't make anybody do anything against their will. That's a tyrant's way, not a leader's. Maybe I should focus on what I can do, not on what others should do. Thank you for this conversation, Aiden. It was quite illuminating. You're welcome. Not sure what I'm supposed to get out of it. Maybe to kind of point out the fact that Sophie's plotting against the PK? Who knows? Things are better for us now, right? Depends, doesn't it? Veronica, the guy was a prick. The PK were a pain in the ass I'm him eavesdropping. Charge. Conclusion's pretty straightforward. Lucas is gone. Things are better for us. Amen. It'd be better if you just shut up, Barney. Where's Sophie? You again? What are you doing? Spying on me? A little bit. You were supposed to wait for me. Suppose schmozed. Plans changed. Afraid I was after your crystals, huh? Afraid? Of you? Give me a break. <laughs> We've got our own interests to look after, Pilgrim. And they're none of your business. Two of your men died for your interests. You used Birdie to distract me. That it? You don't know shit about me, my people, jackass. Birdie was like a brother to me. For some reason, my sister wants to see you. So go bother her. I don't know if I like Bernie. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie! Where are you? I'm coming to talk to you. Oh. Like, that's not Sophie. That's Herman. We have to kill them, Carl. Oh, she's, she's there. They used to be family. We must negotiate. You don't negotiate with extortionists. You're nothing like your mother. Besides, I'm in charge here. Prepare your men. And we're giving Joe those goddamn crystals. Fucking coward. I know what you think. But we have to listen to him, Herman. As for the bazaar. Only for the bazaar. Sophie. Relax, Herman. He saved Barney, remember? Interesting guy, your little brother. You two didn't get along, I take it. Let's just say it wasn't love at first sight. Barney has his downsides. But on the upside, he is unshakably loyal. And with so many problems plaguing old Villador, I just need people I can trust. What are your problems? You're the curious sort, aren't you, Aiden? Just ask. What do you want to know? Um, why are the crystals so Those important? crystals? What's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does, but there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? <laughs> but most importantly, they're I get obsessed real, with pretty tangible things. things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Okay. Uh... Why did Barney bail on me? Crystals are valuable. We needed them for a transaction. And now, you'll be able to help. Like I did with Barney and Birdie? It didn't feel like much of a help. Barney was in shock when he heard about Birdie. That's why he bailed on you. He... He wants what's best for the bazaar, Aiden. He thinks he'll protect us all. He's really just a kid. He was yeah. just a teenager when our mother died. But even earlier, when he was little, we were always on our own. Now he's an adult and he doesn't need anyone. But he hurts himself the more he tries to help others. Hmm. It seems after the commander was murdered, things got complicated between you and the peacekeepers. Oh, that's an understatement. To be more precise, our situation got fucked up. But Lucas, he deserved to die. Since the plague, nothing has hurt the locals like him. It was on his order that the peacekeepers seized our windmill. 
to support themselves. They take a large part of our crops and water. In return for what? Protection? I can protect my people myself. I started learning that when I was a kid. That's bad with Carl. Wonder if she had anything to do with the murder. Let's just say the PK commander's death only made our problems worse. Look around, Aiden. What do you see? Something people outside the walls could only dream of. All these people will be dead by the end of the month. Why? Because in short order, our water supplies will run dry. Two weeks ago, a local thug named Joe and his pal Jack took over the only water tower in the area with their gang. Not long ago, they lived in the bazaar. But Carl threw them out for pulling scams. Let's go get the and water on. They're taking their revenge. They mined the tower and they're threatening to blow it up if they don't get a weekly tribute in the form of medicines, food, and crystals. Okay. Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What I have to do. I promise to help Carl. So while he's in charge, we're gonna pay off Jack and Joe. And they're gonna keep squeezing more and more out of us. And so on and so on. The most important thing is for my people to be safe. You've proven that you can be trusted. I want to ask you for help. Carl believes Joe will live up to his side of the bargain and that he'll give us access to water. But I'm skeptical. I have to send people to negotiate with bandits and I don't want any surprises. Carl and our people have already set out for the spot where the deal will go down. Make sure everything goes smoothly. So I should guard them? Yes. From a discreet distance. Okay. Sounds pretty good. The arrival. Go to the meeting place with Jack and Joe's thugs. Right away. And how far is it? Uh, not far at all. Viral? Run! Fuck! Susie! Ralph! Aiden, hurry! They've got all the crystals, everything we have! Okay, okay. I'm just a little confused as to what's happening. <clears throat> Gotta stop, get some honey and goodies. down here I see bandits oh, and a lot of bodies Sophie I'm sorry I knew it I knew those motherfuckers would betray us <laughs> fuck them Aiden kill them all um k k kill them <laughs> okay can I kill them all how many are there one two is that it was trying to land on the truck. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah! You guys! I wasn't ready! <laughs> No, not mushrooms. God damn it. Um, medicine. Okay, heal up, and then I can take these guys on. I really thought I was gonna land in the on the top of that freaking truck. 
not on my ass. This is kind of a convenient spot. Who's next? Combat level up. Uh. No survivors. Yay! Okay. Uh, perfect dodge. I don't really use dodge. Vault power kick. Um, I thought I already had that. Or just it makes it stronger, I guess. Perfect parry. Perform a perfect block to stagger your enemy for longer. Okay. Power attack. Hmm, that's tricky. Maybe this one? Perfect parry? That would be convenient. A rat. Fucking animals! Find the crystals! Susie had them! Okay. Did they not drop stuff? Guess there aren't any more bodies. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. Uh-oh. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Hmm. Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First birdie, now her. There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. And I don't see these crystals. What the hell? Oh my god. I... The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Do I have to kill that thing? Oh my god. Okay. I need I I I I need to reassess. And now there's a bunch of zombies. Oh my god, how am I supposed to kill this thing? What? Oh. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just catch my breath here for a second. Figure out a plan. So there's a bunch of zombies down there. I probably have to kill them first. Or can I just search the bodies around the guy? Uh, probably not. I don't know. Let's try to kill these zombies. See, that time I landed on the truck. As long as he doesn't aggro to me, I can hopefully take out these guys and then try to deal with the big one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's aggroed. Shit. No more aggro? Oh no, he's coming. Search the body. Uh, search, search body over here. Nope, nope. <laughs> Who's, what? Oh God. Ooh, you're mad. You're big and angry. 
Okay. Uh... I can't really see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... Behind him seems to be a good strategy. Is he dead? Oh, thank God. What the fuck? Who are you? Why are you trying to ruin my day? And a zombie? You piece of shit. You're ruining my moment of, hey, I killed a, a big dude. And you come fucking running through, swinging at me like a jerk. <laughs> I wonder what he gives me. Let's see. Wristwatch, infected trophy. Okay, that's cool. I hear another one. Alright, let's, uh, no, 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 don't pick that up. How do I drop? I can't, apparently. Um, search you. Why is my F not working? There we go. Was I hitting the wrong key? I might have been hitting the wrong key. What's that? Oh, a brick. Okay, let's just finish looting. $37. Cigarettes. Oh no. Oh no, it's noon. Okay. Brick. Don't want that. Good morning! Or good afternoon. Did my weapon just break? Last time you find um, weapons in the dumpster. I haven't seen any in the dumpster yet. So, might not be the case anymore. They're just gonna keep spawning, I think. So. Excuse me! I need to search them. Thank you. Rags. Sophie, everything's been taken. Probably took her before you got there. Yeah. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. All right. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. The raid. All right. Heck on! Yeah. Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. <laughs> I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Idiot. Learn anything about the commander's murder? Oh. I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Oh shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. I don't know if I activated this one. Or tried to activate it, I mean. Mm, well, that didn't work. Ow. Hold Q for activity info? Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay. Good, good. Nice. Go under here. Um, go 
Oof. Don't fall. Are you kidding? Ooh, that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Nice. What are we gonna do? Um, unplug and replug. <laughs> unplug and plug it back in. Pretty. Yay! Okay, that's there anyway, so let's go. Are those enemies? They don't seem friendly. Oh no, that's Herman! Okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. I recognize his grunt. <laughs> Hello, Herman. Hi, Herman. Where's Sophie? Hey, why were you on the mission? Friends could have used you. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that means I should wait here. Or is this a dream? Hey. Mia? Oh, I can move around. Interactive dream. Aiden Babaden. Mia. Aiden, what's the matter with you? This reminds me of the Mia, drug trip in Green Hell. Kind of walking through like a medical facility for a little bit. Mia. Oh. Oh no. 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 That's not good. Is that Mia? Uh, is that happening in real life? <laughs> Jack and fucking Joe will pay for what they did. Hey Sophie, what are you doing? I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Um. You think Jack and Joe could have had something to do with Lucas's murder? Joe, perhaps. He's a total psycho and a thief. He knew the peacekeepers would hang him if they caught him. But Jack wouldn't let him. He's a coward. He thinks rationally. Okay. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. That's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, He's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me or I'm watching over him. Okay. Don't beat yourself up. Things could have been worse too. If I had listened to myself, we'd have water and more of our people would still be alive. You were just doing your job. You were following Carl's lead. Yeah, but 
but I won't let him lead the bazaar to its doom. I see. What next? All right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! Ooh, well, I want to punch him in the face. If you'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. to your help yeah because it's my fault that birdie died i gather you were close with birdie he tried to be a poet kept showing me his work and said all the other guys were too stupid to understand i never told him how bad it was he was a good kid i took him into the group when he lost his father in a dark zone he was 10 years old that's pretty young. Too young. But he had no one else. So I took him in. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Mr. <laughs> Cock and Cunt will change something? <laughs> Does your Cock and Cunt? A a I love that. Life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Alberto. I also think I have enough uh, uncommon trophies to upgrade I you. something. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. Okay. I'll tear them apart. Encounter failed. I what swear. encounter? I'll gut them. What? I don't understand. Encounter. I'm not sure what that was. Real slow. I don't like it saying that I failed though. Peace by peace. To Ralph, Susie, and Birdie. To our crew. Okay, I guess let's go see what Ader wants. Is that even part of the main quest, or is that like a side thing? Let me just see. The raid. Okay, yeah. It's all part of it. I don't want to, like, start working on a side quest and get distracted. That's all. Inhibitor container detected. Chicken pie! Whee! Hurry up, hurry up, get on your feet. Good. There's a howler. Um, this place. Can I climb it? Let's see if I can make it. Up, up, yes! I made it. Just barely. Hello. Coyotes. Hello. What do you want? Ooh. I don't like what's going on Aiden's here. cranky. Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm going to search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. 
Hmm. That doesn't seem like it. They seem happy to take whatever help is offered. So they say. But those people hate us, Aiden. Along with anyone who works with us. So if they do suspect, especially someone like Sophie... I can handle them. Lucas thought so too. And look how he ended up. Be a pity if I found you in a ditch somewhere. With a piece of your hide cut out. Yeah. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water. That's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Hmm. Kind of playing both Sophie, sides. But be careful, Aiden. Yeah. Okay. Join the party. Gotta go over there. No! Oh god. Oh! Oof. I'm still alive. That's what counts. <laughs> so much screaming. It's pretty much morning anyway. Um, that could be tricky. This one's better. Yeah. Hello. It's time for. It looks like Sophie's not here. Hey, it's Alberto. I, I better look for. Must be. Dad, it's still early. Just this one thing. Can I upgrade my stuff from here? Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie. Uh, yes, she went. Uh, she said. The, uh. She went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with the... Uh, uh, not working with the... It's broken. What's that, broken? Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Yes. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo, why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? Um... I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet. But I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. Hmm. GRE tests. tests. You mean GRE tests? You heard that when they built the walls, they were trying to create a vaccine here? It all fell apart in a couple of weeks. One day, Federico vanished into thin air. We'd been playing football. I went to my house after that. He went home too, and I never saw him again. I'm sure they took him. And that's not all. You see, he wasn't the only child who went missing that winter. Mm -hmm. There were others? Two girls disappeared from the building next door at the same time. 
and more all across the city and none of them have ever been found no but based on what federico's mother said i have a feeling i know what happened federico had been in the hospital a month earlier with pneumonia his mother was told that some gre doctor had ordered blood tests but they wouldn't tell her why a week after he was released from the hospital he was gone do you remember this doctor's name? Waltz. No one knew. And no one at the hospital would say. Only that he was on classified GRE business. Then, everything went to hell. The GRE collapsed. After that, some of the kids were sighted in the central loop. But, not Federico. Every day, I wonder what happened to him. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. Yeah. Talk to Sophie. If you lost something, if you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Uh, Which not doesn't exactly. mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? I want a quest. Take care of Barney today. That guy is like a neon sign that reads big trouble. Right. <clears throat> Herman, it's better for the world when you're quiet. <laughs> That's rude. I like Herman. Thank Me you. and you are the same, <laughs> only no the other way brains. around. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your hell! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life, but not anymore. Now I understand, my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about, and I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yep. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. Aiden but Baden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Got quite the nasty scar on his there, left on the arm. Rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. Sorry, what what's on the rooftop? Join Sophie. What? What? She was right here. Did she like teleport over there? Magically? Uh Okay. 
I hear bees. Nice. All right. Who's making that noise? Oh, these guys. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You dead? You dead, dead? Can I search you? I can search you. How cute! Look at all the little plants. That's cute. Alright, hello, Sophie. Apparently, the peacekeepers are watching us. We'll let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them, too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Bandit camps. Approach a bandit camp and use your binoculars to identify entry points. Locate the camp leader and identify potential environmental opportunities. To take over a bandit camp, you need to kill the camp leader and his lieutenants. Then claim the camp flag tower. When you claim the camp, you'll establish a safe zone and earn additional rewards. XP, weapons, outfits, etc. Nice. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. Okay. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. Okay. Was I supposed to kill you? Oh, okay. I don't know if they were bad. I just started swinging. So I'm guessing that the raid is going to take a little bit of time, so I'm going to end the video here. But I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye!